Wait, what's wrong? What's wrong with your nose? It's leaking a little bit. <laughs> Warhead pickle? Oh, fuck yeah. That's crazy. What is this? Crickets? Is this Fear Factor? Yeah. Hi, it's Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice spread, dude. Yeah, this is a beautiful spread. What? It, what's the occasion? Uh, we need something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. <laughs> Live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. my The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Ovi did a field trip yesterday and to where? Erewhon. You get you can get crickets at Erewhon? No. <laughs> There's no can. fucking way you can get the warhead pickle at Erewhon. Yeah. Cody would know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually would know. Yeah. I go there pretty often. <laughs> Sadly. Oh, nice. The one chip challenge. Yeah. I'll watch you do that. Yeah, yeah that see, one's for you, not for Noel. Yeah, yeah. No, but if you want to get the rest of the shit in your nose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's perfect for you, honestly. Are you sick? <sighs> nah. I get <laughs> a bad fever. I just have a bad fever. <laughs> just a bad not, fever. Not at all. Just super <clears throat> bad fever. Nah, I always get this. It's just like throat shit. Throat shit. Yeah. I just got like spit out a bunch of mm. <sighs> yummy. I'm a Your spitter. Eyes kind of bloodshot too. Yeah, I think I popped a blood vessel. Ooh, taking a shit or what? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, it looks pretty hardcore. Thanks, dude. I've been to war. Uh, when what what's this for? <laughs> That's just. This is drinks. Alcohol. What kind of drinks we got here? Secrets. She covered. Yeah, up they're the... all taped up. Yeah. So we'll have to reveal it. And uh, what's this uh, charcuterie here? What do we got? We got some sort of meat log here. <laughs> what is this? Ovi, what is that? Bone fancy marrow? salami. Sal fancy salami. That really looks like a dog toy. <laughs> it tastes like one. <laughs> That's not salami. It's like fake. What? Meat. It tastes like honey. It has like olives and figs and stuff like that it's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> that board's supposed to be good mm, get some what is this cracker <laughs> <laughs> just a cracker <laughs> I know it's a cracker you fucking assholes <laughs> <clears throat> you guys act like I haven't been around the world before <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a cracker it's crackel I idiots. think it's a Branzino. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I got my Branzino. Got that shit burned in my head, dude. <laughs> why? Why? This is the way she said it. <laughs> I, that was like like subliminal messaging. I don't even think that was a story. It was just her just repeatedly going, I've, "I have my Branzino." So I got the Branzino. And then, so, 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 then I got the Branzino. It's like, that's the only thing you're supposed to know. I think the whole thing is a fucking op to get you to go to that restaurant. Oh, guerrilla marketing. Deep guerrilla marketing. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of like the Schmungus thing. Yeah. Same sort of thing. Yeah. Is yeah, this the restaurant where the girl got the Branzino? Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. Do you have any Branzino? We're all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks to TikTok. Look, this place is fucking packed. Yeah. Now they got a line around the block. Yeah. Everyone's trying to get the fucking brands. You know, people were making shirts. Yeah. Every food reviewer on TikTok. So I got the famous Branzino here in front of me. Keith Lee. 
Yeah, Keith Lee, yeah. Did not realize he was Kevin Lee's brother. Who who's Kevin Lee? Oh, uh, he's a fighter he was a fighter in the UFC. Oh. And then Keith Lee fought in the UFC. Really? Oh no, no, he fought MMA. I don't think he fought in the UFC. Oh wow. He fought in Bellator. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And now he's reviewing food. Which by the way has to be the best fucking job ever. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Yeah, that's a great, great job. I'm happy that he got out of MMA. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> the most underpaying career. He's funny. Yeah. I like watching his shit. No. Uh, did we watch the whole, like, was it the Vegas restaurant? The place in Vegas that he, like, blew up? I don't think we watched anything on here. No, we didn't watch that, that video. You guys saw that one, though, right? Yeah. Um, That was a fantastic little story. Yeah. And I think that restaurant is, like, still packed. That's sick. Yeah. Eat that pickle. <sighs> Sorry. I've seen these around before. I, I do like pickles and I like warheads. What? But like, pause. You like warheads? Yeah. Who didn't like warheads as a kid? Really? I didn't. I didn't enjoy eating them. Oh, I loved them. I liked them. Like too. they hurt, but yeah, they're great. Like I like sour skittles too. A sour like skittles. there's certain like there's a certain pleasure that comes from like burning off you know that you get that chemical burn on the inside of your mouth uh yeah i don't you know, know what that I mean? pleasure but i know what you mean <laughs> well the, no, the, it's sweet, like cert- the sweetness after is so good it's something about it you know i like sour skittles i never liked warheads Let's drink some of the juice first <clears throat> yeah it just tastes like just dill pickle juice well i'm not getting any warhead is what i'm saying <laughs> the comments the way Cody inhales that pickle. <laughs> no, because like it's the way he inhaled that. <laughs> it's it's the way my hand is. <laughs> yeah, the way it just teleported into my hand. <laughs> it's got <coughs> It's got chemicals, yep. I got the chemical burn. Yeah, yep. I do. It has chemicals. Yeah. I can feel my taste buds getting singed off right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's pretty ass. To be honest. That's a horrible collab. What a stupid product. <laughs> Cody's an entrepreneur now, so he knows what good products are. <laughs> and that's not a good product. <laughs> He's I'm out. Mad. Yeah. I will not be investing in, <laughs> in Warhead <laughs> Extreme Sour Pickle. Yeah. This is um <laughs> Come on, dude. There's so much shit here. What about the birdie bot beans? <clears throat> you just eat Bro. the most bland thing. Because <laughs> my throat is fucked up, you assholes. I'm not about to put dill pickle in my neck. Oh. I don't know. I'm not about. <laughs> yeah, it seems like I should eat whatever is on that board. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. <laughs> so far, he's eaten chemical pickle, dog food, and boogers. <laughs> this is a great start to the day. <laughs> uh, no, it was none of those. What I just got. Search. Are these birdie? Are these actually birdie bots? No, Long they're bean boozles. boozles. They're what? Bean boozle. Bean boozle. Right. The two that I just had tasted like, like, uh, pocket lint. <laughs> Not to be confused with belly button lint. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. It might have been that. Mm. And what else we got? Crickets? I don't think I've ever had a cricket before. Are they... <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to have to work up to that, I think. I will definitely have one, but not right now. I don't... After I fed them to people on find that link i don't think it was funny i fed them to people thinking they'd be grossed out and everyone would eat them and go oh so if i eat these i get another point i'm like yeah they're like i'll eat like five because they're good they're just nothing these don't you don't taste like anything yeah but i think it's the idea that you're like crunching down on like a brain but but i think there is a little dried brain in there yeah but like once you crunch it sour cream and onion once you crunch it i don't think you can tell i know but it's the thought i'm saying yeah but i know yeah, but if if brain tastes like sour cream and onion, all right, fine then. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking good. It doesn't honestly. taste like brain. It tastes yeah, like it tastes ruffles. like a corn nut. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. What fl- which flavor was that? But there's flavors. Look at the yeah. bottom of it, like near the. That was sour cream and onion. Ah, okay. That one's bacon and cheese. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> pretty fire, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. So Where did you buy them? We just I forgot where we ordered them. But you know what's funny was we almost ran out. Because <laughs> people were just snacking. Yeah, on they're them. just eating them. <laughs> Like, I remember someone was like, I'll, I'll eat fucking 10 right now. And Alina was like, no, 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 no. Like, we won't have any <laughs> for the rest of the day. And I said, oh, man. We should open a bar where instead of bar nuts, it's like. Just crickets? Yeah, yeah, They serve these. That's disgusting. But, yeah, I think it, people would go for they're it. They're not that bad. That's crazy. No. And they kind of, they're like flaky. Yeah. They're pretty good. They're like whatever. By the way, go back to the Bean Boozled chart. I think, I think the one I just had was Dirty Dishwasher. Actually, because that's kind of what it tasted like. Liver and onions or cappuccino? Oh, these fuckers are playing with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Grammarly. As a media executive, I'm always sending messages to my employees. With such a busy schedule, it can be difficult to ensure that each message is received in the way that it was intended. Grammarly Premium's advanced tone suggestions help you communicate confidently and reframe your words to be more positive and productive so your team gets on the same page and projects get done at the same time. Confident communication suggestions help you build strong relationships and get things done at work. Reframe negative language to be more solution-focused so you can better collaborate with your team, coworkers, and clients. Grammarly is a great way to practice direct communication. Their advanced tone features make it easier to sound confident and positive at work. I love using it. See? Yeah. I used it to write this. Yeah. I love using it. Yeah. You can feel the positivity. Now I can send messages with confidence that my messages will not be misinterpreted. This is actually kind of an issue for me. I feel like my, my I text kind of cold because I don't know how to sound positive, you know? Some more exclamation marks, dude. Yeah. When it comes to work, communication is key. Even if you don't have a, quote, writing job. Writing job. Who who does that? Grammarly works where you do, so every important project gets done on time. Grammarly Premium's tone suggestions take your writing to the next level, keeping you professional as you balance being direct and friendly while finding solutions with your team. Plus, Grammarly has a ton of other great features, advanced spelling, grammar, punctuation, and conciseness suggestions to ensure your writing is professional, mistake-free, and clear. The right tone can move any project forward when you get it just right with Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash tone to download and learn more about Grammarly Premium's advanced tone suggestions. And Grammarly... How do you, how do you spell that? What? How do you spell that? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just spell it out for you. It's G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash tone, T-O-N-E. Um, did you watch Last of Us? Yeah, the show sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. It was it was a pretty good finale, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I liked it. I could have done with twenty more minutes of shooting up a hospital, though. <laughs> yeah, that was a really great scene, and I feel like they could have made that last a whole hour. Did you like the way they did it with like the classical music and? Yeah, it was fun. I think they could have played classical music playing, right? Something. Yeah. I think they could have played um um what is it? The fucking what is the goddamn hillbilly theme I always think of. Oh, is it Branzino? No. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> oh, the Benny Hill theme. The Branzino <laughs> Hill theme. <laughs> no, you don't hum it. You'll get a copyright claim. Oh, wait, what what's up? Really? Yeah, Here, I hummed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? They if you put, hum it, you'll get a copyright claim? I've done it in a video. I got a copyright claim. Really? Uh-huh. Wow, that's crazy. But they could have played that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of same energy, honestly. They could have looped it for 30 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> I would have just sat there in my stupid little <laughs> brain. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Joel dies. <laughs> no, <laughs> no In but a murder suicide. He yeah. kills Ellie and then kills himself. <laughs> yeah. The American way. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to shoot the kid, you know? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> um Yeah, I think that 
I mean, I was reading. I was reading. I was like trying to um, establish an opinion after the episode. So I was reading Reddit just to figure out my opinions. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, that scene could have been longer. They were expecting it to be longer, but they just they were. Then they realized it's because they played the game, and that scene took for fucking ever because yeah. it was hard to beat. Yeah. So they would like to like replay this hospital scene a million times. Yeah. So it seemed like it took forever. And they were like, oh, it was only like five minutes in the show. Yeah. But uh, I, I did find it interesting how they, how they like, I don't know, the way the classical music was playing and everything and the way he just was just like totally cold as fuck, zero emotions, just yeah. executing people. Yeah. Was pretty crazy. When he, you know? when he knifed that guy. Yeah. The contrast with the like, <clears throat> how he fe- how he clearly feels towards Ellie, yeah, and how he has just no empathy towards anyone else, yeah, when he gets in that zone is pretty wild. Yeah, do you think he made a bad choice? Yeah, I mean, like I, I was thinking, don't you want to save humanity? Mm. Right? Maybe what? Maybe save humanity. Maybe save humanity. Maybe save, but like, yeah, I guess that's a good point. It's not for sure. I don't know. What would you do? I'd like but, to believe I'd gun down that whole hospital. <laughs> no, but it, then everyone else on Earth is going to die. That's it. I said well, that's what I'd like to believe. But I think if it was me, they go, they'd probably hit me in the back of the head and I'd wake up and they go, we're going to cut into her brain and they give me the whole explanation. I go, do you have to? It's our only chance. Yeah, he didn't even ask if they were going to kill her. You know, I mean, I know it was implied that he was like, he was like, wait, but it, those cordyceps are in the brain, and she was like, yep, and then he just went on a f- fucking rampage. <clears throat> yeah, but if he had just been like, so is she gonna die? And they're like, oh no, it's like the left part of the, it's like a useless section of the brain we're gonna remove. That could have been the conversation. I just don't know if there's any part of your brain that you can just remove and it's fine though. I think there is. You think? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that a thing? Humans only use like 20% of their brains? <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> no, I definitely think there's regions of the brain you can... Like people get brain surgery all the time. They get pieces removed and they're fine. That's true. Is that true? Yeah, totally. All right. Well, just Google it real quick. Do you need all of your brain? <laughs> I've been thinking about just getting like a minor lobotomy. Yeah. <laughs> just a low-key... <laughs> <laughs> low-key lobotomy? Yeah. LKL. <laughs> it's a it's a BBL. Something something lobotomy. Yeah. Big brain lobotomy. <laughs> I'm too smart. No, so I suggest that we only use ten percent or any other specific limit percentage. Of yeah, I I've heard the ten percent thing is a myth. No, but there <coughs> you can. How much of your brain can you live without? Well, most of the, uh, brain fell no more than five percent of the cranial cavity led normal lives. Hmm. <clears throat> no, but people like people that have like tumors in their brain and like people like T.J. Miller. Yeah. Like he had a uh, he. I don't know. I forget what he had, but he had like a stroke or something like that, and had a piece of his brain removed and oh, totally functional. Okay. I mean, sometimes your personality changes, but <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm totally the same. I just can't remember anything. Yeah. But I'm the same guy. Yeah. Exactly. Who are you again? Dang. Okay. All right. All right. So, so, anyways, that's she. That could have been the yeah. So, if he had asked, <clears throat> yeah, he would have. But a little instead, more information. Yeah. he just went ham. The lady at the end just crawling. She's like, no. She was gonna live. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. The way he. Sorry, this is awkward. Yeah. Then. The way he killed her was crazy, dude. Yeah. Just cold as hell. He was gonna come after her. <laughs> It was so cold. You would come after her. I liked how quick that was. Yeah. I think that's why I liked it. I liked it because it was fast. Yeah. Murder doesn't take an hour. Yeah. Murder happens typically very quickly. Yeah. You you know, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> You've been around it? Yeah. When you gun down a whole hospital <laughs> in an apocalyptic situation, I've been there. I wasn't holding the gun, but I, was, <clears throat> I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I was, just, I was just walking behind a guy like Joel. Like, damn. <laughs> You want to slow it down? Yeah. You want to take a break? Holding onto his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a haunted house. 
Dude, you go first. You go first. <laughs> I didn't play Last of Us 2. Neither did I. Is this just like a normal cheese plate? Yeah. Seems like it. Yeah, you get that flaky cheese, what's on it? What is this? <clears throat> Delicious. <laughs> I don't, Delicious. I don't want to eat any dairy. I don't want to pump up the mucus. You don't eat dairy? No, I just don't want to pump up the mucus, man. This is great. You see us? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so so it was real. Yeah. Someone on Twitter was like, I can't I can't with these CGI animals anymore. And then someone responded with that scene <laughs> or with this clip. And she was like, it was real? What the fuck? Yeah, bitch, you don't even know. You don't even know what's real anymore. Idiot. Also, how dare you complain about a CGI animal? You know, th- like this, like like any bit of this story is real. Oh, uh, they put a fake giraffe in the zombie show. I'm sorry, show. I can't. I just can't believe this show anymore. Yeah, <laughs> the giraffe kind of broke the illusion. <laughs> I think that person had a low key lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> just the non accepting of the CGI part of the brain. <laughs> yeah, low key. I think I'm gonna get lobotomized. Yeah, you have one of these crackers. <laughs> Are they good? You can chew on them. That cheese is excellent, I gotta say. Yeah, it looks good. Really, really good. How about the drinks? All that shit looks good. <clears throat> okay, we can get started on the drinks. Well, we have a lot of time, so I was kind of trying to pace myself, but... First drink, we got... <clears throat> oh, you can guess it. Uh, cum. And then try it and guess again. Ooh, is that Jizzy Soda? Yeah. Yeah, this is Cum Shot Soda. That and looks... Str- <laughs> Ranch dressing soda. I was going to say, that looks like dishwasher fluid. <laughs> this is horrendous. <laughs> that is looks like though? dishwasher fluid what? to the fullest. Is man. it? I guess we'll find out. Carbonated ranch, baby. 170 cows. So it's got a lot of sugar in it. You're a big ranch fan, right? Yeah, I like ranch. All right. So in theory, you should like this. But I don't know, man. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want like cream cheese soda. Lester's fixin'. Lester's fixins. Lester, you're a sick fuck. You shouldn't eat anything. <laughs> Dude, that is so fucking bad. Yeah, yeah, bring that over here, just in case. For the future ones. Holy hell. All right, all right. I'm going to take a guess now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, gang. Preach. You just have some crackers, man. <laughs> Dude. I'm not hungry anymore. That's... <laughs> you got to guess, guess the other flavors. You have to Horrendous. guess Horrendous. Will you taste some? I will, for sure. Taste some. I'll, I'll do it after. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hot sauce, piss, barbecue sauce. Why would you make that? I just don't understand. I I would love to see someone chugging down on that in public. (laughs) Yeah, just like not like mad casual. Yeah, (laughs) just like just like walking somewhere. (laughs) And you like do a double take. You're walking by them and you're like. Is chilling at the one. dude s- sitting at the bus stop in fucking ninety five degrees. <laughs> Head goes down like this because he's been lobotomized. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had him take a piece out so I could just hit the ranch soda. You know? <laughs> yeah, I can't taste anything anymore. It's great. I permanently have COVID. Long COVID. <laughs> Do you have yeah, long that's... COVID or were you just lobotomized? <laughs> Hey guys, wanted to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Hmm. You want to talk about a time you learned something about new you knew about yourself? Yeah, I mean, you know, when I was in therapy. What was that like for you? <laughs> oh, uh, you want me to elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, what was the experience? I like? feel like it really helped me. You know, it helped me learn a little bit about myself. How uh, did it you change know? your life? You think? Well, I mean, like, 
help me realign my goals, figure out what my purpose is. Sure. It was nice. It really helped me. And uh, I haven't been back for a minute, but I, but I plan on going back very soon. Well, getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Uh, you know, the person you were a couple of years ago isn't necessarily reflective of who you are now. Mm -hmm. And similarly, mistakes you've made in the past don't define you either, mm. you know? Um, and that's kind of what therapy is all about. It's about deepening your self-awareness. You want to go deep inside yourself mm -hmm. and understand yourself better because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through it. Uh, BetterHelp wants to help connect you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. Therapy is a great way to gain a larger understanding of yourself. It isn't just for those who have experienced major traumas. You can learn positive coping skills, set boundaries, and, and it empowers you to be the best version of yourself. If you're thinking of starting therapy, uh, BetterHelp might be a good outlet for you. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, <clears throat> flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TMG today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TMG. That's crazy. That tastes like sweet ranch. Horrendous. Mm. That is like gag-inducing. So did they do a good job with the getting <clears throat> accurate then? Yeah, they did. They nailed it. Lester, you're a genius. All right. I mean, like, how is this like sustainable though as a business? You know what I mean? Because it's in your hand right now. And it's in your hand. Yeah, but like on YouTube. Can you really make enough money to produce these at scale with the amount of people that are buying them just as like gags? I don't know. Where'd you get this? Amazon. Amazon. What's that? But it's from Rocket Fizz, like the candy store. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, let's see this one. Sorry, Lester. Cody's out on ranch. Cody, soda. You have to guess them before you. Okay. This yeah. one is. And then you drink it and then check what it is. <clears throat> oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> this one is hot Cheeto, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. That's a good one. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything orange. Okay. It smells like orange. That's really good. What's in it? Buffalo wing soda. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. taste like that at all. This just tastes like orange crush. So, Lester, you fucked up on this one, <clears throat> big boy. That's that's good. That's way better than the ranch one. All right, we'll do the other two in a second. I guess if this was hot sauce, I'm not about to drink it. I just want to know if I'm right. Oh, gross. Dude. What is it? Pumpkin? <laughs> Pumpkin pie? <laughs> no, that sounds awesome. I don't know, pie is a drink, dude. All right, I'll give it a whirl. Yes. Ooh. Bet this one would taste like that. I bet you it's good. Although it's like, you know, it's almost spring. Pumpkins are a little it's out really of season. It's not really the time. The time. You know, that's why it might be gross because of that. Oh, in March? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It like starts like pumpkin and then it's like chemicals. Yeah, it kind of nails it. Vinyl chloride soda. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. What the what? fuck? Acetone? <laughs> <laughs> Ozempic? <laughs> oh, in that case. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, dude. You Disappear. see how many people are. These days, losing weight rapidly? Yeah, we'll see how many of them have a colon in fucking two years. You think so? I, there's no way that shit doesn't have some side effects. Yeah, I mean, it's FDA approved. <laughs> Ozempic. Uh, turns out it, uh, in, it um, activates all the microplastics in your body. 
Yeah. Now, <laughs> now all celebrities have just turned into storage bins. <laughs> I mean, that's just everyone, though. I know. Um, it does. I mean, I think the main drawback is once you're on it, it's like TRT. Once you're oh. on it, you can't ever go off of it. <laughs> oh, so the Liver King is this big bad person because he was on cycle, but everyone does those epic and no one blinks an eye. That's true, actually. That's kind of true. In a way, I guess. I, I feel like we'd probably be surprised by how many people are actually on it. Yeah. Not that it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Ozempic? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, unless you're like promoting Derek. Like, we'll get Derek on the horn, like dude. I actually want to, I would love to talk to him about that. Can you call him? Do you have his number? Derek? Yeah. yeah dude, if you think you're going to call. You could call more plates, more dates. And just... No, if you think you're going to call Derek and get a <laughs> 60 second answer. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> well, it depends, right? <laughs> are you someone taking these supplements? Are you someone taking these supplements? There are a lot of use cases for Ozempic <laughs> where you are not at risk. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I actually would love to know. He's He seems like he's busy, though. I don't really want to call him. He would love to hear from you. You think so? Yes. Maybe we'll hit him up and we'll get him on the horn next time. Yeah. Because I want to know. Yeah. You don't want these crackers yet? I would love a cracker, actually. <laughs> a whole box, man. Oh, we, we, just, we just burped in unison. Uh, that was, that was just like an acid, like, Warhammer, dirty dishwasher burp. Uh, Warhammer? <laughs> you ate your Warhammer figure? Warhead. <laughs> Warhead. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we bought Cody a paint kit for his Warhammer character. He's just in there eating the paint. Mmm, <laughs> 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 Lester's paint soda. <laughs> that one's for sure piss. Yeah, it has, <laughs> yeah, it has to be piss. It's got to be piss. Well, let me, ta- let me taste it first. Let me taste it, it first. first. No. Okay, well, Cody, do it. Then. Let me taste it. I think it's just a Corona. <laughs> it's just beer soda? <laughs> <laughs> Beer soda for kids. <laughs> yeah. You <mean> liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? Wait, give me a little whiff. Give me a whiff. <laughs> give me a whiff. <laughs> That's not too bad. That caught me off guard. <laughs> that was it smells like. I think you got a good waft because you popped <laughs> yeah, the top yeah, and the yeah, smoke yeah, came yeah. out. It was like. Corn syrup or something? <laughs> like, it's a like bottle of corn syrup? <laughs> yeah. well, that's the thickest soda I've ever seen. Oh my God. You just Why drink it in your heart and pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> goo goo. Goo goo. Guys. Oh no, man, I feel like shit. <laughs> Why, my mouth tastes like nickels. My left arm is numb. <laughs> Why do I smell <laughs> copper? <laughs> Go ahead, dude. <laughs> All right, Lester. Cheers. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's, there's nothing wrong. It's corn. Yeah, it's yeah. Corn. Yeah. Like just straight up corn. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that flavor. You just shouldn't drink. Shouldn't be able to drink it. You know what that is? You know what that is? They took a can of corn, and and then they drained all. Like, the, yeah, they drained all the juice out of it. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, dude. Your stomach fuck. was like, no more. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Are you not entertained? That shit better just say corn. If it tries to, if it tries to say it's anything else. It doesn't even say soda on it. Just yeah, corn. yeah. If it tries to say it's anything else, I'll throw that bottle through the window right now. Don't even fucking lie. Lester's corn. That's what it should say, dude. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Ugh, dude. Sweet corn soda. Mm. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so bad. It's bad, dude. So bad. The whiff alone. No. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit after you just domed it off. Have another smell. No, I'm good. Dude, I feel like you just <laughs> drank from a canola oil <laughs> bottle, dude. Yeah, just the fucking remnants. 
You'll pass that canola oil. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps. Wow, it's already March. It is. As a media executive and world-renowned DJ, I have a lot going on. This year has seriously flown by already. January, February, it's already March. Yeah. Thankfully, I've been able to plan ahead to save time, and Stamps helps me simplify my shipping needs so I can manage my time stress-free. 2023 is already well underway, so don't wait any longer to level up your small business and set your year up for success. Get ahead of the competition by using Stamps.com to mail and ship. Stamps.com lets you print your own postage and shipping labels right from your home uh, or office. Mm. It's ready to go in minutes, so you can get back to running your business sooner. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS shipping services you need to run your business right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. And if you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. Plus, wow. Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options and offers rates you literally cannot find anywhere else. Wow. Like, for example, up to 84% off USPS and UPS. So you can set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code TMG for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code TMG. I drank the cutest soda so far. Hold on. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Root root beer it's from from deer ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is a deer's ass. How was the hot sauce? Juice? One. The hot sauce one. It was fine. You I'll want it? You want Cody it? Cody wants to try it. I think. No, yeah, after that one. My um. Can't get this thing up. These are the best so far. I'm completely fucking up my shit. I yeah. like these. There's a bottle there. Um, Sunday? No, it's twist off. It's, Isn't it? It's fucking up my sweater. It won't. Mm-hmm. Use your jacket. Oh, yeah. It won't go. Oh, yeah. Why the fuck are some of them real? That's so dumb. Lester, you f- idiot. Oh! All right. Wow. The fuck? A real man. <laughs> bacon. It's bacon. Bacon? Yeah, it's bacon. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking epic. Dude, that's a narwhal. Excuse me, me lady. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to take an epic <laughs> swig of this <laughs> bacon soda. Oh, tip of the hat to you, my sir. Widowly bacon. Ew, bro. What's the sc- Oh, bro. <laughs> That's nasty, dude. That's so- <laughs> <I've>, Yeah. <laughs> you, look like, you look like when dogs- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they have the fucking- That's the funniest- genre of video to me <gasps> is dogs like gagging like yeah that. Ha- hacking up a it's so good <laughs> remember that one that <laughs> yeah, dog in the lake yeah, yeah. <laughs> just hacking up a hairball <laughs> <laughs> this is that's horrendous oh bro that literally literally it actually tastes like they collect the yep. like runoff yep. from cooking bacon yep. and make soda out of it that tastes as if you lick the pan after you cooked yeah. 50 strips of bacon. Yeah. Just, <laughs> What's your process? Well, we just take the sludge yeah. and we mix it with water. Oh, my stomach hurts, dude. Zach's pubes? <laughs> <laughs> bacon. Bacon soda. That's disgusting, man. They nailed it on the flavor. Fucking horrendous. You should try that ranch again, see if it's still as bad as it was. Listen, man. I I will actually, but closer to the end of the episode. I'm not ready just yet. It's gonna be a horrible day. <laughs> After this. 
Yeah. Whole day is shot. So no. thanks. Welcome. No, man. And I feel like maybe with the one chip challenge, we can really solidify that. <laughs> yeah, man. Enjoy that. <laughs> That's one. That's one thing that when I watch people do it, I'm like, I will never do that <laughs> until today. Until now. <clears throat> but you know what I mean? Like the amount of pain that people go through is yeah. so much fun to watch. But yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do it because yeah. I know it doesn't only fuck today up; it'll fuck tomorrow up too. Yeah. Like yeah. you ever like have a really spicy meal? Nope. I did the hot ones challenge once for a party, and it was yeah. Okay. It fucked me up. Do you, yeah. the next morning. Off. The shit hurts so bad. So bad. Yeah. Dude, the literal shit. Yeah. 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 We did hot ones too. Yeah. We did the. Oh yeah. Truth yeah. or dab. The bomb. The truth or dab. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We didn't do the real hot ones. Yeah. We're, no. cool. we're not. Yeah. There was a certain point in COVID where we were like getting invited on all these shows, but I think it's just because people were like, "Oh, we know they have a good setup at home." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Who else? <laughs> what? Who else? Yeah. Exactly. They're like. Who else can we get on here virtually that won't sound like ass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking back to shows. COVID? That, yeah. COVID was a interesting time. Good times. Hot take. <laughs> yeah. Good times, man. It's good memories. You know? Yeah, it was definitely good for the economy. Yeah. It was definitely really good for the economy. Yeah. And just like life and, mm. you know. Oh, what is Cody's new bike delivery? What is that? Oh, there's a video of you getting your new bike. <laughs> Please tell me he throws the washing machine through the front window. <laughs> <laughs> he just put the you missed you thing on the door. <laughs> Didn't you say that's like yeah, the delivery I mean, window for your yeah. bike? I, I don't like listen I know they got a lot to do but it doesn't like he didn't even knock on the door it doesn't make yeah there's when you need a, when you have to sign for something it just doesn't work anymore because they don't give you any time to get to the door no <clears throat> like they do that they like walk up they press the thing then they sprint back to the car mm -hmm. and then you have to like three days they do that and then you gotta go it's like just make it so that I can arrange for pickup right off the get go I miss a camera delivery for like almost two and a half weeks <laughs> because of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's this so frustrating. Whoever's delivering would just walk up, ring, gone. Yeah. See ya. And it's so frustrating because you're like stoked for whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And so, and then seeing that notice, you're like, God damn it. <clears throat> I had an inverse of that though. Somebody left too many cameras. <laughs> 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 Dropped off a pallet of Sony FX nines. Oh, hey, brother! I think this is yours. <laughs> Your B and H photo, right? Yeah, that's me. No, I there. There is one FedEx driver. I don't see her often, but she came through one time. Oh, she was the one who inevitably delivered the package to me, and she was a lot cooler. She like rang the doorbell, she hung out for a little bit. Um, I ran to the door or no, no, I was, I was downstairs. So I like on our deck and I like ran up to the front of the house. She's getting ready to leave. And she's like, there you are. They've been trying to get this to you for two and a half weeks. <laughs> Come here. I was like, Ooh, Ooh, she give you a hug. <laughs> no, but I'm sorry. So she goes and gets the package and then she's kind of like, she's talking about, work just kind of joking with me about something like about the neighborhood i'm like yeah yeah for sure and then she goes how old are you she's like let me stop um, before i get in your business <laughs> and i was like i want to take this package but i think you're flirting Ooh. You know? like, i didn't say that. no, no okay. i didn't say that i was like all right thanks but this is the way she said it but like she was like kind of testing the water so. right right and then I put that big ring finger <laughs> yeah. on the top of the package on her forehead. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Let's look at it. I'm married. Okay. Feel it. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm married. You feel that on your forehead? I'm married. Listen, in another life. <laughs> nah, I just took the package. It was just the way she said it. She's like, how old are you? 
And I was like, what? <laughs> no one ever asked me that. That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, that shit doesn't happen to me ever. Getting flirted with? Yeah, but it did. It just reminds me of it because I wanted to tell you about this anyways, the like Omega dinner that I went oh, to. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was this one moment where we were standing <laughs> It was there. just a big dinner. What? There's a just a Omega oh, dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you about the mega dinner that I went to. <laughs> it just was hanging out with some English people. Austin, it was mega, mate. <laughs> it's mega. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I said mega dinner. Mega dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you can come out and tell us how much you hate the vaccine. <laughs> Gotta tell you about this mega dinner. Can you pass me that hat real fast? <laughs> uh, no, Omega. Yeah. The watch company. Yeah. They. Uh, they saw that I wore one on the red carpet of the Golden Globes. Mm-hmm. So they you like, want to pick that name up real quick. They what? <laughs> you just want to pick that name up real quick. <laughs> um, I was I was there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, oh, name drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, you can't really name drop an event, can you? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess the, the, the Golden Globes. The Golden Globes, yeah. Oh, sorry. Dung, dung, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pick that up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dung, dung. <laughs> sorry, solid gold. Sorry yeah. about that. Big old globes, yeah. dude. Big old <laughs> Omega, Omega Globe. Omega Globe. <laughs> my, my, my. So they reached out to uh, our PR and they were like, okay, we they're doing a pre-Oscars dinner mm. and they want you to go. And... Uh, so I went and the CEO was there. So it was like the CEO of the um, <clears throat> U.S. Swatch division, right? Sick. Super, really, really nice guy. And uh, they sat, so the dinner was like, it was probably like 75 people there. Mm. Like the guy that played Versace in that show. What's his name? Great actor, not Adam Driver. You know the show, The Murder of Versace or whatever? Um, uh, I didn't watch it. Oh, he didn't play Versace, sorry. Was Versace a woman? No. I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking of... Anyways. Versace um, could be a, a deer. Anyways, it was like... I just felt like really out of place because <clears throat> we don't go to shit like that very often. Yeah. And they sat me beside the CEO and he was like... Because I'm not like I'm not really a watch guy, but I like yeah. watches. Sure. But I've not like... I've never like collected them. You, know? you were sitting next to Ricky Martin? Yeah, him. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Dude. It was like a cool like, it was like a cool group of people to be there. It was just like felt like crazy. And then they sat me beside the fucking guy and he was like really nice guy. And we're talking about he's a cyclist, so we're talking about cycling, oh. stuff like that. We're like, you know. Geeking out. Yeah, geeking out a little bit. Like I'm like, okay, this is going well. And then he's like How did he like, find out you were a cyclist? I think uh I mean I probably said something. I don't know. Bike. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just said bike. Is <laughs> that <laughs> He's like, so how are you? Dude. Cycling. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? <clears throat> do you like bicycle? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you like to do, Cody? I ride bicycles. I like. I like to ride bicycles. My bicycle is. I like to one really a, fast. I like. I got a new bicycle. I got a brand new bike. That's basically how it started. And then he 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 broke character and he's like, "Oh, I like bicycle too." He's like, "I like bicycle too." How fast you go? Yeah. And he. He like leans over to me, like it's going well. And then he was like, "So, how many watches do you own?" <laughs> and I was like, "Uh, zero. And then I was like, "Ah, actually, no one." I tried to recover because I actually do have a watch uh-huh. that my parents got me when I graduated college. I thought you were gonna say graduated high school. <laughs> it's a Timex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little like plastic swatch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I felt really embarrassed. You're like, because he was like, oh, okay. Like in his head, he's like, why are you at this dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. (laughs) Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode DoorDash. Burnt your last piece of toast? Avocado's gone bad? Or is the hot sauce bottle empty? Try grocery delivery today from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want delivered when you need it right to your door. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, uh, you can find the best in your neighborhood and help out the local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered, or we'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy the quality groceries just like you picked them up yourself. Want even more value? 
You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites uh, with $0 delivery fees on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. With easy substitutions right in the app and best-in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $20 value when you use code MEATGANG at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off, up to $20, no min subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code MEATGANG. Don't forget, that's code MEATGANG for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. But anyways, there's this one moment where we were standing like before the dinner and one of like the cocktail like waitresses came up with like a mm. thing of food and like smiled like way too hard at me Whoa. as she was offering me the thing and I was like thanks and Kelsey was like I think she was flirting with you and I was like I thought that too and I just want, didn't want to be a dick yeah never happens yeah ever yeah I think FedEx lady is the only time I've been hit on outside of my relationship yeah yeah, sure. Let me grab one of those little hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. You know? Whoa, what do we got going on here? <laughs> yeah. Make a little choice. Little tuna taco? Sure. Let me get one of those tuna tacos. Yes. Yeah. Let me just pick it up with this finger. Yeah. Yeah, when the FedEx lady hit on me, I went back down to the deck and Alina was there and I said, I think the FedEx lady was flirting with me. <laughs> She's like, what? I said, yeah. She was like asking me my age. And she's like, that's really, she's like, that's really funny. Like, (laughs) you know, typically it's the other way around. What, you hit on FedEx? No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, no, no. It's like when, when, uh, when a FedEx is like the, you know, UPS driver shows up in the shorts and the wife is like, oh, yeah, 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 right, right. The delivery man. Yeah, like in uh, Legally Blonde. Yeah, yeah. 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 But this time, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Good job, Cody. Yeah, yeah, I, I nailed a reference. Movie uh, yeah, and that's Ladies Jennifer and Coolidge, wow. who is also in White Lotus. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we can up, we can, we can update the board. <laughs> Days since reference. Number of white people movies, Cody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's cool about Jennifer or Jennifer Coolidge too? What's that? Is that we saw her at the Golden Globes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Drop my big old That's golden a globes. Pure gold name drop. <laughs> 18 karat name drop right there. Yeah. You have a watch? <laughs> no. See, that's what I did. That's what I did when the guy asked me. No. Uh, um, what I said to him? I would have said, yeah, I have a Rolex. <laughs> yeah. That would have probably been the worst answer. No, I have, I, have a, I have a Rolex. I have a Kermit, actually. It was gifted to me by a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like watches? I do. I just don't want to pay for them. Yeah. yeah. Just ask him for him. You should have just said, can I have one? Well, okay. So then we were talking to, I was talking to some other guy who I guess was like, a, I don't know. He works in like branding or something like that. Sorry, I got to just say real quick. It would have been hilarious if you're like, does he have any watches? You're like, oh, yeah crazy thing dude i actually have an omega submariner but it's fake (laughs) i went to china i got a fucking dude and uh, dude i bought 10 of them and i sold them here as (laughs) real ones i cashed the fuck out y'all just start doing that (laughs) dude that would be that's some like gen z (laughs) la shit like low key i have all your watches but they're fake (laughs) guy's like what the fuck (laughs) This guy's a genius. Hire him. Anyway, you're talking to the so head we're of talking branding. to this guy. He's he's an agent. He works in branding, and he said he has some clients that work with Omega, mm. and they were in Switzerland. That's where that was another thing. He's telling me kind of interesting. Like all the luxury watch brands mm-hmm. are within like, their headquarters are all within a mile of each other in this one town in Switzerland. For Got some it. reason, yeah. they all ended up there. Yeah, well, he was there for an event, and like the C, the global CEO, I forget what his name is, <clears throat> um, of Swatch Group was there at this event and he asked like they were like drinking together and he asked him like do you have do you have a watch yet and the guy was like oh no i don't and he just picked up like a speed max or speed master or whatever it's called from the like middle of the table and just gave it to him isn't that crazy i mean it's a lot of power yeah here you go i think it's like an eight thousand dollar watch or something it's pretty sick that's nuts omega i like watches I actually do. I used to wear a fake Breitling in college. Nice. 
no one knew it, it was fake. Like I knew no one knew what a Breitling was. And so it was like a little treat for me. Yeah. I got to pretend I had a Breitling and no one was, you know, any wise to it. Like, yeah. Paid 150 bucks for it. Nice. Yeah. Stopped working after like six months. Oh. Yeah. I have a Tog Heuer or Tag Heuer. Yeah, no, you got it. <laughs> okay, you had to tog correct me on that. Hoya. Tog Heuer, is that what it yeah, is? Something like that. And they're nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're nice watches. The one I have has a little Duke D in it. Oh. Just, I thought you meant there's a little Duke in there. <laughs> Yeah, a little dookie. Yeah. Yeah, we were partying hard and we were swimming in the lake. And I don't know. I got some duke in there. But <laughs> other than that, it's a clean watch. <laughs> no, but it's a nice memory, you know, of yeah. college, did they, I guess. Did you and, buy it from the school? No, that's what my parents got me when I graduated. Oh, that's my, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. Put a little D in there. <laughs> Knowing your dad, he's like, yeah, I actually looked up how to open it up, and I opened it, I put a custom watch face in there. <laughs> yeah, I engineered it, it, and it's all carbon fiber now. Yeah. <laughs> Super and light. Actually, I put a Bluetooth chip in there. It normally doesn't come with that. <laughs> so now, now I basically invented the AirTag before the AirTag. I just didn't feel like selling it or whatever. So it's there, um, and I actually wrote the software for AirTag 20 years in advance of it coming out. So, um, yeah, there's going to be something in the future. It's called AirTag when it comes out. This watch will be synced to your phone, no problem. Just put yeah. it to the side of your phone. Because they have to invent that too. Yeah, I actually like wrote the patents and I gave it to him because I don't feel like dealing with it. But yeah, that's all you. Yeah, yeah, he did say those exact words. And you're like, thanks, Dan. Thanks. I just wanted a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want a wide bikes. <laughs> so you feeling fit? You getting some juicy thighs from the cycling? Um, I don't think my legs are really growing that much, but I definitely feel like I'm getting more fit, Sorry. like cardio wise. I, I I just conflated cycling with um, the endurance cycling. You know what I'm talking about? The Olympic endurance biking where... Like it, around the velodrome or whatever? Where it like makes your thighs juicy as yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like, yeah. A lot of cyclists have big juicy thighs. Yeah. Uh, but pumping the pedals? Yeah, just because they're riding bikes all day long. Just pushing. But I'm not really getting juicy thighs. They're kind of the same size. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these boys. I was looking up Velo... I was just last week looking up Velodrome crashes. Sick. Because I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is sick. It is. It is fucking sick. Luke, actually, can you look it up? Because there's one I want to show. That's the point of watching oh. any race with wheels. Yeah. You don't want it to go well. Yeah. <laughs> and these things are fucking crazy. The reason why I was doing it is because I got my new bike. And uh, I had to get a fit last week, and the guy was at a velodrome down in, uh, I forget, it was a uh, sports park or something like that, mm. and I forget where it was. Go, uh, wait, go up to the top. Actually, yeah, scroll down. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, this one. Yeah. <clears throat> this must uh, be the sickest race. Like, the walls are so steep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think how how many laps next do they go? Yeah, I don't know, but they're So this is a sprint thing? Oh, oh, oh. No. It, oh, that wasn't the one. Probably another angle probably. The angle that I saw, you can see one of the guys goes up to the top yeah. and launches off into the crowd. <laughs> In the crowd. Yes, dude, it's fucking crazy. Dude, this is bicycle NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like cooler. My small brain just put that together. Whoa, it's like NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Could be that one. Yeah, cycling oh, yeah. horror. Oh, this is the same one. You know, I'm about some destruction. Oh, God damn dude. it. Yeah, I think it's this one if we get another angle of it. It's it's pretty awesome. Dude, I've I've just been immediately transported to the couch at a kickback. It's pretty it's a good feeling. No, just fuck. Let me find it. Hold yeah, on, yeah. just wait. Just wait. <laughs> keep the no, just keep the music off for like two more minutes. Like I'm gonna find it. You guys are gonna like this. Just a lot. yeah, I'm trust sorry. me. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Oh! You see him launch <laughs> no, over no, the top? No, 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 no. Hit it again. Oh, damn it. Oh. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, I think if you just keep going, there's another angle. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Wait, wait, that was the angle. Oh, no, never mind. That's after the crash. Holy. These still images. Who wants to see a still image of a crash? <laughs> Th this is why this is why endurance cycling isn't n more well known. It's your production is ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's, there's a couple a of gap in the market one here. Fucking operators to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a race car camera operator. You been working out? Uh, so Australia really fucked me up on sleep, and okay. then. This shit that I have right now, I know I got this in San Francisco, so it's a long way of saying no. But I was on a fucking, I was on a good, good run, dude. I had like a PR like three weeks ago on squat. Nice. 195. Nice. I, I probably could have pushed like 205, but I've never squat that much weight, so I was just really scared to, yeah. I was like, I'll just let my body acclimate. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was definitely one of those moments where I put it up and I was like, oh. Like, definitely probably could have been squatting more earlier in life. Just never tried it. So, there's that. And then, yeah, I was just, like, hitting nice little, you know. I could, now I think I can comfortably, like, rep out, like, 50-pound dumbbells on, like, chest press. And, nice. Yeah, so I was, like, definitely in a good place. But the eating part, <clears throat> just hard to eat they say corn soda is really good yeah 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 yeah, yeah. for fitness and for that's actually putting my, on weight that's my muscle. that's my first meal is corn soda with a <laughs> scoop of protein powder <laughs> scoop of oh. corn corn protein powder oh my god imagine ranch soda corn soda protein powder shake we have a blender yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah what put all this we in a toss blender. all this in a blender protein <laughs> oh or, oh but yeah. And when do you go back on tour? Next Sunday. Oh sheesh. No, but I that that's gonna be fine because man, we I think about it all the time. We fucked up. Why? We could have been eating and we could have been yoked. Why? Because all right. After like touring like comedy clubs where you're just like in and out of hotels and stuff, I was still able to figure out a rhythm and then I always think like, fuck, if we dude, we could have loaded that fridge up with like shit for shakes. Yeah. And if we killed, like, if we didn't do meet and greets in some cities, it's so easy when you pull up to a city, you just go to a gym, pound out for an hour, come back, you eat, like, we we could have hit our calories, could have been working out three, four times a week. Yeah, just, hitting calories is not a thing for me, though. Well, it is for me. Yeah, I know. That's not, but I, that was, my problem was always eating too much. Oh. So if we had that shit laying around, I would have gained way too much weight, probably. No, but if we just replaced the bad boys drawer with like healthy shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm just saying we could have we could have turned that into like Iron City. Yeah. What was we, in the bad boys? Arm drawer? Farm. What was in the bad oh boys drawer? Oh my god! I'm, what wasn't in there? Yeah. What wasn't Tom? What wasn't Tom putting in? M and M peanuts. We always had those on deck. We always had a full sleeves of Chips Ahoy. Yep. Every night. Yeah. <laughs> Oreos. A lot of corn soda. <laughs> Brownies. I mean, dude. Yeah, it was bad. They're all bad kinds of shit stuff. in there. It's called that for a reason. I, I'm certain. Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> Little cocaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like how we're talking about it. Like, there's like really risky shit in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just snacks. <laughs> yeah. Oreos. <laughs> no, honestly, there was a lot of shit in Like, definitely, um, we took a step towards diabetes with what was in that drawer. Um. Yeah, I would always start, start like if I knew we were going on tour, I'd work out really hard. Yeah, and like eat well and lose a bunch of weight, and then I would come back twenty pounds heavier. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm finally like, I'm my body is like just chilling at like one fifty two, one fifty five, but I'm skinny right now. So I mean, I've always been skinny, but I think end of the year I'm aiming for like one sixty. Nice. I think I'll get there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. And then <laughs> I'm gonna take up cycling, but I'm gonna do it reverse. I'm gonna do it with my hands. What do you mean? Like I'm gonna pedal the bike with my arms. There are bikes like that. Uh no, but like I like mean, you can get like a recumbent bike that you can No no no. I'm gonna put my chest on the seat. Oh nice. And my legs, legs in up the in air there. Split. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like backwards like this, junk is facing forward. So no, no. you can see forward. Like no, no, you know? I'll be, I'll be, 
Look at these things. No, fuck. Actually, I'll just be like in a Superman pose, like flat on the seat. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super aerodynamic. Yeah, I'll be working out core. Yeah. Because I'll be having to balance the bike. This is all to make my arms massive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would work. Probably, yeah. right? Yeah, you just <laughs> just pounding your arms every day <laughs> up a hill. Yes. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I always think about this when I'm going down a hill. Because they were already going like 40 miles an hour or something. Yeah. And doing this, you know, he was... He was going, he must have been going, I don't know, 45, yeah. 50. So scary. And your points of reference are so much closer to your eyes. So, like, it feels like 100 miles an hour. Yeah. I've never seen this video. You've seen this <laughs> you never seen this? No. Yeah, this went crazy on Twitter. <laughs> I'm not on cycling Twitter, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's just me. It's me and the Swatch Group CEO. <laughs> no, you go on a bike with the Swatch Group CEO, and then he does <laughs> Do this. The, yeah. To yeah, he does that to fucking establish power. I'm like, power. what the fuck? <laughs> so it's just way more aerodynamic. So yeah. Faster. Yeah. That's insane. Why does no one do this? He like, must be going like 50 His miles an hour. Ins- yeah. Holy fuck. Like, imagine <laughs> any little bump. That's this is how crazy. this is how the fucking Lance Armstrong won those races, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, hey, he's not, he's not pedaling. <laughs> Look at, he's pissing too. You can see the. Yeah. <laughs> he's about to beat a moped, homie. <laughs> that is insane. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Dude, he's ripping. <laughs> oh, that's so freaky. Oh, oh my god! How Boop. do you get your? Feet back on the pedals. This is terrifying. Oh my god, that little speed wobble. Dude, the pedal, yeah, the pedals are going so fast. Oh, oh easy. Oh. Boom. Oh, that's impressive. That's crazy. You know who was sick in Italy? Um, They made pizza there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's awesome. You believe that shit? Yeah, that's crazy. Also got this tower. <laughs> no, we uh, we went on this long bike ride through like the countryside in Tuscany uh, with some like e-bikes and I love those things yeah oh so fun there are some moments where uh, we we did a lot of uphill um, which I think is probably a good idea because if they we were on those e-bikes we were going down those hills (laughs) see ya why I would have gone straight (laughs) off something (laughs) yo check this out (laughs) <laughs> You're still pedaling though, right? Yeah. It just has like pedal assist. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. But it had a It's mo- like the best invention. It did, but there was one mode that was like super fast. Yeah. Yeah. You were barely pedaling. <laughs> it's just hitting 20 miles an hour on an uphill. <laughs> if I was going down, I'd be hitting 30, no question. Did you did you get that sort of like I don't know, it's like you get that special feeling when you're biking. Like the scenery looks cooler, you know? Um yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I love that. Well there's just some insane views already and then so to be hitting it on a bike, you're just like Yeah. Look. Yeah. Definitely. Should we hop into the bone zone? I guess so. All right, folks. We're gonna drink some more ranch soda in the bone zone. <sighs> Cody's gonna do these. the one chip challenge. And I'm gonna hit these the rest of them at the same time. <laughs> so uh let you, me just pop you one of these. Do that one chip challenge, ah! What? You going to do the chip challenge? I'm not going to do it, dude. Come on. Tell I have you're... so much to do today. I'm not doing that. We'll see if we ruin we'll my day. We'll see if we can pressure Cody into doing it. You do it. Why does it have to be me? I'm I got a cold. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Even better. You won't dude, taste I can't it. Do it. I got a crazy fever. <laughs> <laughs> you you'll get a fever after you eat that. Cash, shit. you do it. No. I do it. Ryan's going to do it. All right. So we're going to get Ryan's reaction to the one chip challenge. Sick. In the bonus. See you there. <laughs> this week on the Bone Zone. I had a nut crusher this past weekend. Or did you play slots? What did you did. play? I got a little sucked in. Holy fuck. Down 19,500. You will win it all back tomorrow. Matt was on mushrooms. This person was distributing chocolates. Matt works for me. <laughs> he was dealing drugs at my wedding. No, 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 no. So he's fired. 
fuck, this is gonna fuck me up, guys. I feel so bad, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv. <laughs>